Yo, what's up guys? Jason Mother Magician and welcome back to the 365 Days of Magic Challenge. Magic on the internet is a literal cesspool of content creators doing both good and bad content in the name of perceived fame. But in amongst this never ending onslaught of magician content creators, there's always one who stands out above the rest. And that magical content creator is Jack Rhodes. Jack Rhodes is an English magician, comedian, content creator who fully understands that magic doesn't make you special, you're supposed to make the magic special. It's called having personality. While a lot of magicians will buy a trick and repeat it word for word verbatim to the very product that they bought, Jack Road is a man who can inject his own personality into a magic trick and make it his own. I'm talking unique, baby. So in this video, we'll be reacting to the very best of Jack Rhodes. But first, I have to show you guys a magic trick for day number nine. So make sure that you smash like if you haven't already and subscribe. And without any further ado, let's do today's magic trick, baby. All right, guys, for this trick here, all you need is a deck of cards and these rent paying digits right here. Watch close, okay? We're gonna use the topmost card. In this case, it's the four of clubs. And I'm just gonna heat it up using the palm of my hand. Now it's important that there's nothing in this hand, all right, the four, once it's heated up enough, you can actually move the ink and have it stick to a different portion of the deck. How crazy is that, man? That's freaking nuts, dude. I'll do it again. This one from here to here. Now it's not that long distance to travel. So all you have to do is pay close attention as I move it with a twist and it moves across the card. Look at that, small distance, sure. But this one is long distance. This is the hard one and I'll even do it one handed under the cover of a shake. And just like that, it jumps across all the way to the end. Now from here, we're gonna take the card, watch close as I spin it. And with enough spin, it'll send those pips back to the corners where they belong. And that, that's a good trick right there. It's a good trick, man. Woo! All right, here it is, Jack Rhodes. Stick with me. Picture the scene, we're outside the pyramids. There's a crowd of people watching a weird looking guy playing with his balls. When you put it like that, it doesn't sound too appealing, but thanks to wall paintings inside ancient Egyptian burial chambers depicting a magician Such called good Dedi, production quality. or Didi, I don't know, we now know that the official oldest trick in the book is this. Pull my finger. <laughs> I'm joking, it's this. The cups and balls, two and a half thousand years in the making. This trick has truly stood the test of time. Now there's all sorts of different variations, different versions of the cups and balls, but we all sort of rely on the same idea, the same premise. No matter what you do with the ball, put it in your pocket, get rid of it, always ends up underneath the cup. You know where the ball is in the hand, you know where it's gonna go, underneath the cup. And even with sleeves rolled up, the ball ends up underneath the cup. No matter what you do with it, get rid of it, put it in your pocket, always ends up underneath the cup. And by the way, there's a reason this is considered the best way of learning the fundamentals of sleight of hand. It's because there's a little bit of everything, a little bit of timing, a little bit of rhythm, a little bit so of misdirection. So you might think you see that third ball go in the pocket, but it's already found its way underneath the cup. And they all use the same method, by the way, all these different versions. They all use an extra ball. There's four balls. There's three in the hand, and the fourth ball is the ball that's underneath the cup. That's Aye. the fourth ball. Don't even get me started, by the way, with the fifth ball. The fifth ball doesn't even fit in the cup. So the fourth ball is the red ball, the fifth ball is the eight ball, the sixth ball is another eight ball, and the seventh ball is another eight <laughs> ball. The irony is, there is no eighth ball. So good, man. I love the cups and balls. My bread and butter. I've been making a living off of cups and balls for like 12 years. But that was so beautifully shot. Like, the routine itself Oh my God, Jack my boy, and every subscriber for sure. Even now it's not uncommon to see scam artists on the streets doing sleight of hand hustles. Take the classic Find the Lady for example, sometimes known as the three card Monty. The idea is simple, one card is the money card, the queen, and the other two cards are just a distraction. Guess where the queen is and you win the money. Guess wrong and you lose your money. Even when you think you know where the queen is, you'll always be wrong. The sly of moves are designed to make you think you know what's going My on. God. Even if you get rid of the queen and all you're left with <laughs> are the distracted cards, you'll still be wrong. Here comes the move. That's it. The switch is done. Now the queen's in the hand and the nine's in the pocket. You'd bet your house on the queen being on the table, but it's all a scam. I've got extra cards. The hustler <laughs> is in control the whole time. If I want you to guess that this He's card so is a slick. queen, it'd be a queen. If I want this card to be a queen, it'd be a queen. And suddenly you've now got three queens. You've lost your house, your wife has left you, <laughs> and your kids have lost any respect they once had for you. Now that's a magician -y <laughs> version of that. I like the pattern. I just. <laughs> It's like I'm getting constantly mind blown, but then at the same time, he's like tickling me in the funny bone. And it's just, it's a full sensory overload experience watching this man perform magic. Also this video, I'm showing you a couple of clips. They're all from one video, by the way. And I highly recommend that you check it out. It's called the sleight of hand paradox. And not only is it beautifully shot, it's unbelievably informative in like the history of sleight of hand. It's just, it's beautiful. I'm, 
I'm hooked. Now the full video goes for 17 minutes and I don't want to show you all the tricks in it because the whole thing is like a myriad of like history but then also entertaining magic tricks like that. So I recommend that you check that out for yourself. Instead, we're going to check out another one of his videos with a whopping 17 million views, baby. That is a number that exists. Here we go. Oh. oh. It's sharp. That is beautiful. I think this will be definitely one that will spot in Salomo. <laughs> Can't win. <laughs> I don't know how that one worked. Oh, Ooh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Well, that was quick and nice. Story of my life. <laughs> I used to do this all the time. I don't that was anymore. freaking awesome. We're probably gonna find out why. <laughs> clean. Yeah, that's clean. Even there, I can't see how you get all that's of clean. that. That well, what second? Yeah. <laughs> That felt I mean, like, oh, come on, man. that felt like you'd already CGI'd it. That's oh, nice. that's beautiful. Ooh, that feels okay. like you've just put a hole in that card. That, uh, that coin routine is a freaking beauty, man. Like that, he does the one where he like drops it from one hand to the other and it changes. And I got to say the coin timing is just Oh, so good. Beautiful. Of course, the last one, there's just no chance that he's going to fail that. <laughs> and as for the snap change, well, you just can't beat slow motion camera with the snap change. This is not possible. I love the snap change, though, because there's always like one dude that's going to do it in public and like just. Yeah, right. Okay. So is this your card? No. No. Is it Are you ready? Angry face. Yeah. I'm with you. Turns into happy face. Do you know why he's happy? Because he's loaded. He's got lots and lots of money. Whoa. Whoa. It's always those little reveals. Oh, that was at the clean. End. Yeah. Angry face. That's you or him. <laughs> You've not seen anything yet. <laughs> nice. Smiley face. It's that little open there. That's lovely. Yeah, that's a good display, that. Yeah. Right there. Very clean. Yes. Because you're just showing there's, there's nothing yeah. in these. And then bang, angry first, smiley first, and then before you know it, there you oh. go. And then the I think the kicker is you show the hand empty. I'm waiting for something behind here. Yeah, and then you turn the coin round. And your bang. hands are so open. Yeah. Yeah, damn. That was clean. Jack, you bastard. <laughs> that was clean as. That was nice. Sharpie marker. Hmm. Uh yeah, okay. I'm with you on that one. I like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, the first yeah, bit, oh, yeah, the first bit yeah. was dirty. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. What? I think that's gone in the sleep <laughs> hole. You, as a magician, you shouldn't say it was this or it wasn't this, but it wasn't. It didn't go up the sleeve. Because <laughs> also, look how tight the sleeves actually are. Yeah, no, no. I thought looking at them actually. Where did that go then? Oh, that one's like. Got me all like. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. I wouldn't mind learning that one. That I wouldn't cool. say that's an easy one. I would say that's took a while. I'll learn another. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Card. Card. Ten of spades. Yeah. Cut into the middle. Cut again. Cut again. Well, All right, it, it should be in the middle, yeah. Plonk. See, now that's just next level. Could you do that every time? All right, let me just say, that's not, that, the slow-mo is not gonna matter with that one. That was so cool. That's a hard thing to do too. That's a really, really hard thing to do. All right, well, that's gonna happen is I'm gonna get sucked into the rabbit hole of Jack Rhodes, but I highly recommend that you just go and check him out for yourself. The guy is just top notch. And Jack, if you are watching this, congratulations on passing 100,000 subscribers, well earned. You'll be, I think, the biggest content creator in the magic game, if I'm honest. Call me Bucky, lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. 